last week I did this uh, live streaming for Instagram where I used a visual with the backdrop and a lot of my friends asked me how I did this and what the whole setup was like. So here's a video coming up explaining the same. Hope you guys like it. So here's the view from my point of view. That MacBook is acting as the webcam and as well as the uh, system which is running the media file for the green screen as you can see in the back is the green screen which is being reflected on the laptop I've got my DJ machine the controller DDJ 400 and I've got another MacBook Air running a record box as you can see on that side uh, we have the sound so basically uh, now I see output from here it's going into this laptop it's playing sound out loud so it's getting captured by the blue snowball some of you guys might be aware of this mic and then that is going into OBS uh, OBS is taking input from the blue snowball right? and that's how it is happening uh, we'll go into OBS separately uh, that's a separate discussion for us so here's the overall setup it's kind of a little uh, makeshift but yeah it kind of works okay so let's look at the OBS part so we are inside OBS currently mm, uh, I am not going deep into OBS and how to set all of that up there are a lot of tutorials on how to set OBS up so if you guys want to check that first you know you should you should do that I'm not getting deep into that but you know it's a basic thing in OBS you start with the scene so I've added OBS tutorial uh, you can add and create a new scene so first do that once you have added a scene you have to add a source so uh, right now uh, there is a source which is the cam I'm you know you're seeing me through that so you can add video capture device then name it whatever you want then you know basically from the devices you check FaceTime HD camera this is for the Mac and you know if you have the webcam it will kind of show up here and I'm not doing it currently uh, we just remove that from here as of now yeah so you have the cam uh, then add a background that you need so which is a media source uh, this is basically for the background video so let me name it video this is the background video that you guys saw was going on in the background <coughs> so it will take you to a, a folder where you can browse your files from just check on loop if you want the you know video to be looped which you would want uh, generally then Click on the video that you have already saved on your computer and then it just shows up so yeah now you know you can drag it wherever you want that space is you uh, kind of check the Mac and put it on the top of this thing so I can just take myself on the top here so, and I'll show you how it changes once I uh, change the settings inside so now this is how, what I'm looking right and this is how I'm looking right now uh, so now let's see how to make this green screen like the background that we have on the video right click uh, click on filters in effect filters add then add chroma key give it that and then you know you'll see that you know it has almost become the background that you have so you have to tinker with the similarity parameter a little bit and you know make it this, this will depend on your lighting uh, and make sure that you don't make yourself like you know, right now in my see I'm becoming a little grayed out yeah just make sure that the balance is right but you don't gray yourself out you can tinker with the smoothness as well uh, I've kept some area just outside the screen to see how it is affecting that area as well so yeah you can tinker with that once you are happy just close it and then you will come to the screen so what you saw that video at the beginning was being played so this computer which was there at the beginning was playing the same settings and then it showed me playing in the foreground while the background was looking like uh, this video is going on so that's basically the video setting uh, so now there will be another setting which is the audio setting so if you saw there was a blue snowball which was uh, capturing the audio from the you know speaker which is a JBL flip 4 and that was the sound that was going to the audience uh, I, how to did that I just added plus uh, add an audio input capture 
and you know you can say okay uh, it will take you to this device then you can you know choose you know a blue snowball if you have already have it plugged in it will kind of come up here and you can choose it so then this mic for audio capture you can see has been added uh, and uh, currently I'm talking from that and you can see just make sure that the volume levels are uh, in a position where it doesn't cross and becomes red so you'll see that if I speak loudly it will kind of go into the red zone so make sure that the volume is uh, and a level but this is uh, fine for the audience yeah so that's more or less it these are the three things you have to add one is the mic we added at the end there is the background video which is basically the looping video that that is added that is the media file and your mac cam which is going to capture your overall video and overlay with the background so that's it from me hope you guys uh, got some idea from this uh, this is my first time doing a tutorial so please hit the like button if you uh, got some information comment let me know how I can improve the videos and do subscribe I will do more of such videos and please check out my other videos as well uh, thank you and have a nice time